Hello, my name is Sunday Joseph Adenuga, the pastor of Success Dimension Church, Ibadan, Nigeria. In this presentation, I'm going to be speaking with you on the topic, the covenant of success. The covenant of success. If you read the Bible, in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, from verse 1 to 14, you are going to see promises upon promises of God for the children of Israel that if they obey Him, all these blessings is going to come upon them and overtake them. This promise of God is not only for the people of Israel, it's for as many people as would accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. So if you are a child of God, this promise is for you. However, there are some things I have to let you understand. And that is why I have come up with this presentation. I want you to understand all these things so that you can key yourself properly into the covenant of success. The first thing I want you to know is that you are unique. You cannot be replaced. There's only one you in the face on the face of the earth. You are so unique that your fingerprint is different from the fingerprint of any other person on the earth. That shows you how unique you are. Nobody can do what God has called you to do. You are the only one that can fit in into what God wants. There is no other person that can fit your mood. Therefore, I want you to always remember and realize your uniqueness. This should make you never to feel bad about yourself because you are different from others. God knew what he was making when he made you. He knows why he made you the way he made you. So don't feel bad about you. Don't look at anybody and begin to feel as if you would be that person. There's something in you that is not in that person. Even if you seem too slow in getting things in life, there's a definite purpose for your life. Even if you think that everything about you seems not to be going right, there's a purpose for which you are made. Do not envy your friend who is making it. You can make it too. To envy is to resign to slavery. To envy anybody, anybody in this world is to believe that you cannot do it. But I want you to know that you can make it. I want you to believe that you can make success in life. I want you to know and believe it that what anybody has achieved, if you work as hard and try as much as they do, you too can be. Therefore, today I want to charge you. Stop comparing yourself with somebody else. Stop comparing yourself with anybody. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12 says, We are not of them that compare themselves with one another. Because they that compare themselves with themselves are not wise. We are not like that. Stop comparing yourself with another person. Stop comparing your child with another person's child. Stop it. God is mindful of you. God cares for you. God knows who you are. God knows why you are. And God cares for you. It doesn't matter what you are going through. At one point in the life of King David and of the Bible, he says this word in Psalm 23. He said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. There are times when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death. There are times when you go through difficulties. There are times when it seems 
things seem to be going wrong. But at these times, what do you do? David said, I will fear no evil. This is what to do. Never to fear. This is what to do. Never to engage in fear. Why? Because God loves you. God is mindful of you. Nothing can happen to you anyhow unless God permits it. The Bible says there is no temptation that has come upon you, but such temptation is common to man, and it will not allow you to be tempted beyond what your capacity is able to bear. That's what the Bible says. So what you are going through, you are going through it because God knows you can bear it. You are going through it because God knows you can survive it. You are going through it because God knows you have the strength for it. So I want you to believe and I want you to do it with all your heart that God knows what you are going through and God has permitted it because he wants you to come out on the other side with Sussex. Praise the Lord. God, when he permits evil, in your life. When God permits evil in your life, be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. He will make a way for you. There's a song which I love. It says, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He walks in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day. He will make a way. He will make a way. God will make a way. And he will help you to fulfill the covenant of blessing. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be merciful unto you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Now, once again, my name is Sunday Joseph Adenuga, the pastor of Success Dimension Church, Ibadan, Nigeria. God bless you. Thank you for listening. It is well with your soul. In Jesus' mighty name, my friend. Amen. My telephone number is plus 234-80-540. 41462. My website address is www.sourcesdimensionchurch.blogspot.com. Thank you. God bless you.